from it. Right, okay, that one can be returned. There uh, are. Yeah, that one can go back, okay. What, 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 and hang you on. can send that one back where it came what from. What are you doing? Oh, I read in the papers this morning. Today's the day all the clocks go back. Oh, hey, really? Oh, hey, oh, hey, it's oh, run time. Oh, Hi, this is my chum, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Hi, you were one of our under eights winners, I believe, from a couple of weeks ago. Can you remember what the competition was? No. No, that was an <laughs> deliberate mistake, by the way, because we can't remember either. Anthony. But Anthony's got a... What do, you, what do you call the bears? I forget. What's it called? What's it called? No, I don't know. Butch Bear. Hi, Mary. Nice. Um, and we can tell this is Anthony's because I don't know if we can do an unrehearsed close-up of this lovely little waistcoat. It says, I'm Anthony's. Did no, you get the close-up? There we are. Hey, that was worth waiting for. Another great moment in television history, I think you'll agree. <laughs> Anthony, I suspect you've most probably got a list, haven't you, that you want to read out. All right. Well, there's Mike up there. You read it to, you read it to Mike. All right, nice and loud, all right? Oh, uh, uh, right way up. So you say hello to who? You can read it out now, Anthony. Go on, then. Are you going to read it out, Anthony? Doesn't matter. They can edit this at home on the video recorders. Are you going to read it out? Start at the top there, and who's that? Um, maybe you can't read I know it. what it is. You can't read your mum's handwriting, can you? Now, I always get told off when I offer to read the list. Shall I read it for you? Yeah. So they all get a mention. Right. This is say hello to Granny and Grandad and Pete and get well soon, Grandad. Granny and Grandpa, Stuart, Adrian and Gary, Matthew and Jonathan, Shirley and the kids. Oh, Shirley and the kids. Nick and everyone else who knows Anthony. I seem to pop into your telly this morning. Well, by the way, the other uh, last week we had the Frank Carson competition. You remember we had a mystery guest popped into the studio that was Frank Carson. We had lots of entries which we weren't really expecting. Somebody said the mystery guest, this is Brian Rogers, said the mystery guest was my father, but he couldn't make it because he was still in bed. He'll come in next week. The mystery guest was me, says Jeff Barlow. And it was such a mystery, I didn't know about it. Well, the winner, I don't know what we're going to give him. The mystery guest is obviously, is obviously German and it's obviously the male offspring of Frank Fran Carr, Fran Carr's son. I think that's so awful that Martin Wakeman of Acox Creed in Birmingham is definitely going to get himself a T-shirt, whether he wants it or not. Okie dokie. Now, of course, it's International Year of the Pie, and if you're having any special events to do with International Year of the Pie, any fates or anything like that, you'd like us to sort of pluggy poos, then do let us know about them. If you want any nice photographs, I do enjoy showing photographs in your telly. But in conjunction with the International Year of the Pie, the International Year of the Pie Committee in um, Castor... What is Castor what? Where's the International Sorry? Pie Committee? I forget. It's Custard Blanca! Just checking, see if you knew. I knew all the time. Well, they have, of course, <laughs> inaugurated Flans Wait, Across the Sea. That's not the, the deliberate sea. mistake, is it? Not at all. No. Flans Across the Sea. Well, what happens in Flans Across the Sea is, of course, that we send all our worst comics to foreign parts, bye-bye days, and they, in return, they reciprocate, yeah, and they send us their worst comics. And so here is India's entry. Thank you, thank you, bye, Joe. Thank you, thank you. You may stop now. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> bye, Joe. Bye, Joe, Mam Sahib. Oh, yes, it is me, Ken Papa Dodd. <laughs> oh, yes. Did you know that Beethoven was so influenced when he came to India that he wrote a symphony that started... Papa Batum, Papa Batum. <laughs> it is, oh, that is a wonderful little joke. <laughs> what a wonderful day for going up to the Himalayas and shouting Haralayas. <laughs> My little joke, very little. <laughs> but they are not touching me for it. <laughs> they are not touching me for it. <laughs> now I will do for you my impression, Mam Sahib, of a Bombay duck. <laughs> Bye, Joe. And now I will do the impression of the chicken tikka. The chicken tikka. <laughs> chicken tikka. <laughs> Bye, Joe. <laughs> do you know? Do you know what is the difference between an African elephant and an Indian elephant? Oh. 2,000 miles. <laughs> oh, these jokes are all a rudge. <laughs> oh, yes. I will now sing a little number and I will be accompanied on the sitar. Do you not have a baby sitar? <laughs> I can recommend one for two rupees. <laughs> two rupees or not two rupees? That is the question. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the song is entitled She Was Only the Guru's Daughter. But she curried favor with everybody. <laughs> Maestro, please. 
By Jove, happiness, the greatest gift that I possess. I thank the Lord that I have been blessed with more than my share of happiness. Happy? Oh no, not the cheeky chapati chaka. Oh no. Chapati bye, everybody. Chapati bye. Chapati bye.